Hi, welcome to Reacts with Jax. My name is Jax and today I am reacting to Captain America the First Avenger. I haven't seen this movie. There are so many Marvel movies I haven't seen that I think I'm just gonna start reacting to all of them in the timeline order. I saw the original Iron Man, the original Thor, an Avenger movie. You kind of got to keep up with the Marvel movies, otherwise there are all these little details that you miss out on. So this is a fantastic opportunity to start from the very beginning. I am so excited, so let's just get started. If you want to watch this journey with me, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. I come out with new videos every Friday. Let's go. I'm so excited. <laughs> are you the guys from Washington? You get many other visitors out here? <laughs> That's true. Why would people be coming? You guys are going to need one hell of a crane. Is that a spaceship? What is that? Well, that's pretty cool. Can you imagine being the first person to have to go down there? What if something was alive inside of it? What is this? I don't know. The music. It's making me feel like something's gonna pop out. I don't care what time it is. This one's waited long enough. Okay, I know what that shield is because I've seen Marvel before, but do they know what that shield is? Oh, 1942, okay. Defend the We have earthquakes like that in California. Open it! Uh. Quickly before you get... Okay, who's this guy? It has taken me a long time to find this place. You should be commended. Help him up. Is that the guy from... Yeah, from The Matrix. What you seek is just a legend. And why make such an effort to conceal it? Yeah, he's got you there. His accent is great. Damn! Does he have super strength? The Tesseract was the jewel of Odin's treasure room. Okay, I've heard of that word before, the Tesseract. It's not something one buries. Oh. I think it is close, yes. He isn't fooled. Maybe you can help your village. I have no need for them to die. That's a heavy burden for that guy to carry. That guy's got some powerful, intuitive skills. You cannot control the power you hold. You will burn! I already have. That was a great opening. Boy, a lot of guys getting killed over there. Roger, yeah. Steven. Kind of makes you think twice about enlisting. He's so small. Roger. Oh, he's so short, too. What'd your father die of? Mustard gas. Mother? She was a nurse in a TB ward. Oh. Is there anything you can do? I'm doing it. I'm saving your life. That actor looks so familiar. Was he the, was he the, um, butler in The Parent Trap? The able-bodied young man is lining up to serve his country. That'd be so hard. Like, you want to be valuable to your country, but then... Art. Collecting they scrap force metal. you to live. Nice work, Timmy. Nice work, Timmy. Let's go. Get on with it. Mm. Hey, just start the cartoon. Hey, you want to shut up? Watch out, that guy's gonna be big. That's so cool. I love that little reference to the fact that he's gonna have a shield later. It all feels so magical despite him getting so pummeled. Pick on somebody your own size. Sebastian Stan? You get your orders? The 107th. Sergeant James Barnes, shipping out for England first thing tomorrow. What'd you tell her about me? 
Only the good stuff. What a friend. What if I told you that in just a few short years, your... She doesn't want it. With Stark Ravitic Reversion Technology, Stark. you'll be able to do just that. <laughs> I did say a few years, didn't I? That's okay. It was still very impressive. Hey, Steve. What do you say we treat these girls? I don't think I ever knew his name was Steve. Come on, you're kind of missing the point of a double date. We're taking the girls dancing. You go ahead, I'll catch up with you. You can't just leave her. Look, I know you don't think I can do this. This isn't a back alley, Steve. It's war. I know it's a war. You oh, why are you so keen to fight? There's so many important jobs. What do you want me to do? Collect scrap? Yeah. Stanley Ducci? One of the best actors ever. He can make you laugh, he can make you cry. Don't do anything stupid until I get back. How can I? I'm taking all the stupid with you. The Marvel dialogue is so good. Don't win the war till I get there. That'd be tough if everyone in your family's a war hero and you keep getting rejected. Wait here. Is there a problem? Just wait here. Uh-oh. Thank you. So, if you want to go overseas, <laughs> kill some Nazis. That would be ideal. Five exams in five different cities. That might not be the right file. No, it's not the exams I'm interested in. It's the five tries. Do you want to kill Nazis? I don't want to kill anyone. I don't like bullies. I don't care where they're from. That's a good answer. I can offer you a chance. Only a chance. I'll take it. Good. This movie would have been very short if you didn't. Congratulations, soldier. I just got goosebumps. Although it could be because it's cold in here. <laughs> I didn't have a Marvel cup, but I do have a Disney cup. This is Pooh Bear. What was that? I don't know. This will change the war. And not in a good way. This will change the world. And also not in a good way. And since I live in the world, I don't approve of that. Gentlemen, I'm Agent Carter. Must be the accent, Queen Victoria. Put your right foot forward. Oh. I got a few moves I know you'll like. She dropped him so quickly. Good. Get your ass up out of that dirt. Agent K. Oh, they brought all the actors out for this one, didn't they? Wars are fought with weapons, but they are won by men. We are going to win this war because we have the best men. <laughs> and because they are going to get better. <laughs> Nobody's got that flag in 17 years. 17 years? Rogers! Genius. Oh, that's so smart. <laughs> My grandmother has more life in her, God rest her soul. I feel ya. He brought a 90 pound asthmatic onto my army base. I let it slide. I thought, what the hell? Maybe it'd be useful to you, like a gerbil. Like a gerbil. <laughs> Stick a needle in that kid's arm, it's gonna go right through him. Come on, girls. <laughs> Look at him trying, though. Hodge passed every test we gave him. He's a bully. You don't win wars with niceness, doctor. Hey, now, you can kill people with kindness. Grenade! <laughs> Why am I getting teary-eyed? Is this a test? Yes. And you just won. He's still skinny. <laughs> oh. He just wants to save people. Can I ask you a question? Just one? Why me? You got heart, son. The serum amplifies everything that is inside, so... Good. 
becomes great. Wow. Bad becomes worse. Scary. This is why you were chosen. Because the strong man will lose respect for that power. The weak man knows the value of strength and knows compassion. That is such a backhanded compliment. Thanks. I think. <laughs> Whatever happens tomorrow, you must promise me one thing. That you will stay who you are. A good man. To the little guys. <laughs> to the little guys. No, no, wait, wait, what I am doing? No, you have a procedure tomorrow. No fluids. All right, we'll drink it after. Okay. No, I don't have a procedure tomorrow. Oh, I don't either. I understand you found him. See for yourself. Do I want to see? If you hurt Stanley Tucci. The Godzilla. What do you think? Masterpiece. Do we get to see it? Apparently not. It's a secret. I got beat up in that alley. <laughs> in that parking lot. Just driving around, showing all the places that you've had bad experiences. I guess I just don't know why you'd want to join the army if you were a beautiful dame, a beautiful a woman. You have no idea how to talk to a woman, do you? I think this is the longest conversation I've had with one. Wow. Even your mom? It's gonna woman to dance always seems so terrifying. I figured I'd wait. For what? Right partner. Oh, the right partner. A love story is blooming. And I am so here for it. Wonderful weather this morning, isn't it? Yes, but I always carry an umbrella. I love little code word conversations. It's like when they enter Diagon Alley and all the bricks move aside and show a whole new world. How you know everyone in a room was once talking about you? They all stop and stare. Are you ready? Oh. I'm gonna need to know what this is gonna do first. Somebody get that kid a sandwich. They did a really good job of making him look smaller. Comfortable? <laughs> it's a little big. <laughs> I'm intimidated by that little shot. I can't even imagine all the other shots. <laughs> this reminds me of when Wolverine went through his change to get the metal infused into him. That looked way more painful though. 60, 70. Never mind. This looks really painful. Turn it off. Kill it. Kill the actors. No! Don't! I can do this! Wow. Hello. Son of a bitch did it. We did it. Yeah, yeah. I think we did it. So that machine just gives you abs. No. Come on, Captain America. She is just not afraid. I had it! Sorry! Is he used to running in his body? Does, is there an acclimation period? Or is it just like, boom, superhero mode activated? <laughs> Parkour. Okay, gosh, they do not make cars like they used to. Look at him, he just walked out of that car accident. Come on! 
Not the kid. That's little baby Ron Weasley right there. Gosh, can you imagine being that mom and having your kid taken? Wait, don't, don't. Oh, that is bad luck. Can he swim? Go get him. I can swim. That kid is amazing. I wonder how long he can hold his breath for now. Oh, I forgot to do that thing I always do where I like hold my breath to see if I can do it for as long as the actor. Damn. Who the hell are you? The first of many. Cut off one head. Two more shall take its place. Oh, cyanide capsule. Gosh, that tooth came off very quickly. What if you did that by accident? What if you were just cleaning stuff out of your teeth and then it like popped off and you died? The Führer feels, how does he put it? The Red Skull has been indulged long enough. Oh, this is Red Skull. You will be punished for your insolence. You will be brought before the Führer himself! Holy mother of God. Yeah, I'd be terrified too. Hail Hydra! Hail Hydra! Well, you kind of have to say that, otherwise he's going to obliterate you. We are taking the fight to Hydra. Pack your bags, Agent Carter. You too, Stark. We're flying to London tonight. If you're going after Schmidt, I want in. You're an experiment. You're going to Alamogordo. The serum worked. You are not enough. Do you want to serve your country? Yes. On the most important battlefield of the war? Yes. play ball with us, you'll be leading your own platoon in no time. Take the shield. His little outfit. Who's from the brave here to say? In a musical number. Keep our boys army ready, and the Germans will think twice about trying to get the drop on us. Wow, he's just... He's not even fighting, he's just... Promoting? Good job, Steve. This has to get tiring after a while. Like all the fake performances. Uh, I need a volunteer. I already volunteered. How do you think I got it? Yeah. <laughs> Where did they get the tomatoes? Your audience contained what was left of the 107th. Mm. The rest were killed or captured. The 107? 107, that's... that's his friend. I just need one name, Sergeant James Barnes from the 107th. You and I are gonna have a conversation later that you won't enjoy. But the name does sound familiar. I'm sorry. What about the others? Are you planning a rescue mission? Yeah, it's called winning the war. They're 30 miles behind the line through some of the most heavily fortified territory in Europe. I don't expect you to understand that because you're a chorus girl. I think I understand just fine. Well, then understand it somewhere else. If I read the posters correctly, you got some place to be in 30 minutes. I want him to save his friend. Yes, sir. <sighs> I do. This movie just got really interesting. You told me you thought I was meant for more than this. Did you mean that? Yeah. Every word. And you gotta let me go. Don't you need ammunition and guns and when were bulletproof vests invented? You know, you two are gonna be in a lot of trouble when you land. And you won't. Where I'm going, if anybody yells at me, I can just shoot them. Hey, <laughs> Carter, if we're not in too much of a hurry, I thought we could stop off in Lucerne for a late night fondue. That sounds awesome, to be honest. So are you two? Do you? Fondue? This is your transponder. She didn't answer. As soon as I'm clear, you turn this thing around and get the hell out of here! You can't give me orders! I think you just did. But these prisoners, I, I, I'm not sure they have the strength. Then use up what strength they have left, Doctor. 
Oh, they're gonna experiment on the prisoners. So this must be how Bucky turns into, is he the Winter Soldier? One of these days, I'm gonna have a stick of my own. Where do I know that actor from? Gosh, he looked so familiar. Oh, that guy just flew. I can't even imagine the headache after that. Was that guy holding a gun that shot out the stuff from the Tesseract? Who are you supposed to be? Um, Captain America. Beg your pardon? <laughs> it's supposed to be comforting. What are we taking, everybody? I'm from Fresno, Ace. I'm from Fresno. I'll meet you guys in the clearing with anybody else I find. Wait, you know what you're doing? No. I've knocked that Adolf Hitler over 200 times. Well, that <laughs> doesn't really explain anything. You know how to use that thing? Oh, he knows how to use it now. Okay. What is happening? Chaos. Going, I didn't know you spoke German. <laughs> this is awesome. No! What are you doing? Our forces are outmatched. So he's destroying it all? Bye. I don't know where you think you're gonna run to. He's faster than a car. Mark. Bucky. It's me. Hey, Steve, I thought you were dead. I thought you were smaller. <laughs> <sighs> Captain America! How exciting! I am a great fan of your films. Yeah, I'm liking this film too. Impressive. <clears throat> you got no idea. Don't fight on a bridge. Someone always has to fall off. Have a day. <clears throat> What is going on with his eyes? What? Oh my god. You don't have one of those, do you? Hopefully not. I understand the Red Skull reference now. Pretty cool car. He has to, I mean, he has to live, so. Okay, that's a weird place to end it. I must declare Captain Rogers killed in action, period. I can't touch Stark, he's rich. And he's the Army's number one weapons contractor. You are neither one. With respect, sir, I don't regret my actions. Wait. That was Stark? Okay. It's so cool that that's Stark. I had faith. Well, I hope that's a big comfort to you when they shut this division down. What the hell's going on out there? Captain America is what's going on out there. Just gliding in on a tank. Oh, that guy. I'd like to surrender myself for disciplinary action. <laughs> that won't be necessary. You're late. <laughs> Couldn't call my ride. Bummer. That's so cool. 
Captain America. Mm -mm. Uh -oh. I thought he'd be <gasps> Stanley. Oh, that's my favorite thing in any Marvel movie is the Stanley cameo. It's your map. You think you can wipe Hydra off of it? Yes, sir. I'll need a team. We're already putting together the best men. With all due respect, sir, so am I. You ready to follow Captain America into the jaws of death? Hell no. That little guy from Brooklyn, I was too dumb not to run away from a fight. I'm following him. Mm. Ma'am. Howard has some equipment for you to try tomorrow morning. Sounds good. Those eyes were wandering a bit, Mr. Captain America. Oh, 800, Captain. Yes, ma'am. I like them together. I'm invisible. I'm, I'm turning into you. This is like a horrible dream. Oh. Alpha, beta, or neutral. That is so cool that that's dark. Hard to see what all the fuss is about. Yikes. You saved nearly 400 men. Really, it's not a big deal. Tell that to their wives. Ah. Uh. I don't think they were all married. <laughs> I'm sensing a love triangle. Uh, seeing as they're not here. Oh no! You always wanted to be a soldier and now you are. Just like all the rest. Well, what about you and Stark? How do I know you two haven't been fondueing? Fondueing? They're fondoting. Fondue's just cheese and bread, my friend. Really? The moment you think you know what's going on in the woman's head is the moment your goose is well and truly cooked. <laughs> what about this one? No, no, that's just a prototype. What's it made of? Vibranium. It's stronger than steel and a third the weight. It's completely vibration absorbent. Really? That's so cool. That's the rarest metal on Earth. What you're holding there, that's all we've got. What do you think? It's a good way to test it. Yes, I think it works. I would say so. I think she's angry. I had some ideas about the uniform. Whatever you want, pal. Damn! You have to have a lot of confidence in yourself. Filming all of this. Was that the Enigma machine? We were right. Dr. Zola's on the train. It doesn't look like the Hogwarts Express. If this all wasn't so deadly, it would look like a lot of fun. Ooh. I know Bucky eventually loses an arm, and it's just freaking me out that it could happen at any moment. Oh no! That must be a terrifying feeling. Ah, oh, the power of friendship. He's a character later on, so something's gotta happen. Oh good, there's blood. What is this? Steak. What is in it? Cow. Doctor, do you realize how difficult it is to get a hold of a prime cut like that out here? 
I don't eat meat. Yeah, probably should have asked. You're trying to intimidate me, Kana. I bought you dinner. He did. Dr. Zola is being remanded to Switzerland. I sent that message to Washington this morning. You guys haven't broken those codes, have you? That would be awkward. <laughs> Hydra will stand master of the world. Our enemy's weapons will be powerless against us. Those are scary looking masks. Schmidt's working with powers beyond our capabilities. He gets across the Atlantic. He will wipe out the entire eastern seaboard in an hour. Hmm. How much time we got? According to my new best friend, under 24 hours. Hydra's last base is here, in the Alps, 500 feet below the surface. So what are we supposed to do? It's not like we can just knock on the front door. Why not? One does not simply walk into Hydra. <laughs> Person and they go flying. Whoa, you are surrounded. Arrogance may not be a uniquely American trait, but I must say you do it better than anyone. Thank you. Pot, kettle, though. There are limits to what even you can do. I did ask in tell you otherwise. He told me you were insane. But did he tell you I was red? I can do this all day. I am on a tight schedule. The guns they're using are so much worse than the other guys' guns, though. I mean, those blue guns just obliterate you. Let's go find two more. Okay. Where did that guy come from? You're late. <laughs> you gotta catch a plane on foot? See, if you were Tom Cruise, you would have been able to do that. It's like in Men in Black when he's like, don't press the red button. Wait, wait! Go get him. Go get him indeed. <laughs> Good luck, Captain America. So he just wants to destroy everything. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> How are you gonna get back in the plane? <laughs> Was a very bloody death. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> hmm. 
Nobody's home. Go away. Something's gonna happen. And I'm gonna relax because it's Captain America. You don't give up, do you? Nope. Knowing they both have super healing strength kind of takes some of the intensity of this fight down. Captain Rogers, what is your... Steve, is that you? Are you all right? Uh, give me your coordinates. I'll find you a safe landing site. There's not going to be a safe landing. Mm. I got to put her in the water. Please, don't do this. We, we have time. We can work it out. If I wait any longer, a lot of people are going to die. It's the grenade situation all over again. They always die in movies when they do that. Get a rain check on that dance. A week next Saturday at the Stork Club. Eight o'clock on the dot. Don't you dare be late. We'll have the band play something slow. I'd hate to step on your... Steve. Gosh, that was sad. And I know he lives. Good God. I love how they start at the beginning of this movie with the end of it. To the captain. Gosh, this was such a good movie. Tony Stark gets it. Wait, no, that's not Tony. I can't remember his dad's name, Mr. Stark. Just keep looking. That's sweet, he's looking for him. The end? It can't be the end. Okay, so they find him. Here comes the relay, but they won't get it. Pete Fryzer was an inch. Morning. Good morning. Could you explain what happened? Where am I? You're in a recovery room in New York City. Where am I really? Oh, that's so creepy. Where are you really? The game. It's from May 1941. I know because I was there. Where am I? What? Captain Rogers, wait! All agents, code 13. Okay, so he was saved. Okay, I. Okay, I'm understanding now. They wanted to acclimate him to the time he was in. And he's in modern day time. Gosh, that would be so freaky. But hey, at least there's a Baskin Robbins right there. You can get some ice cream to comfort you. Hey, soldier! Look, I'm sorry about that little show back there, but we thought it best to break it to you slowly. Break what? You've been asleep, Cap, for almost 70 years. 70, wow. That would be tough. Everyone you know would be gone. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I just... I 
had a date. That is not how the movie ends. Is that how the movie ends? I had a date? What? I, I have so many emotions right now, I don't even know how to verbalize it. This was so good. I... I want to instantly, like, start watching the next one, but I wanted to do all the Marvel movies in order, and the next one's supposed to be Captain Marvel. Well, that was Captain America. It was so good. This movie was so much better than I thought it would be. I don't know why I wasn't thinking that I would connect that much to Captain America out of all of the superheroes, but this was phenomenal. I loved it. I, I'm very curious about Bucky's character, though, because I know I've seen him somewhere, but, you know, I guess if Captain America can be brought back out of the frozen ice, so can Bucky somehow? We shall see. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification. I come out with new videos every Friday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.